This video is taken from the last one-third of my previous video, which covered the film and real history behind the Jackie Chan action movie Shanghai Noon. Let's compare scenes from the 1971 samurai western Red Sun to the 2000 film Shanghai Noon. Let everyone know in the comments if you agree with me that Shanghai Noon is a remake of Red Sun. Spoilers ahead. The American chapter of both films begins with a sweeping landscape shot, followed by a train with some introductory text. The American lead watches the train, and we are introduced to the Japanese samurai warrior and the Chinese imperial soldier. The American leads a train robbery, and a precious item is stolen. For Red Sun, a stolen sword directly ties the American and Japanese leads. For Shanghai Noon, it's a side plot about a kidnapped princess. The American is betrayed by his own criminal gang. Then the American and the Asian have an awkward meeting where they decide to team up. Wait, not this awkward meeting. Not this awkward meeting. Not this awkward meeting. There, that's the one. Despite deciding to work together, they have a physical altercation. This is where Charles Bronson learns about Tashira Mifune's swordsmanship and judo. But let's be honest, Owen Wilson doesn't even try to take on Jackie Chan. Still trying to resolve their differences, Bronson's character leaps off a rock and pulls the samurai into a river. Just like Jackie Chan's character pulled down a crow horseman earlier in Shanghai Noon. They finally settle their differences and ride into town together. They have a drink. They take a bath, or at least one of them does. And the samurai takes an American girl to bed, similar to how the Chinese soldier went to bed with the daughter of a Sioux chief. The story goes on and they finally arrive at an old mission for a prearranged meeting with the bad guys. There's an ambush and a confrontation. Then the Native Americans arrive. In the 1971 film, they are Comanche warriors who serve as the nameless bad guys for lots of fighting to come. In the 2000 film, the Sioux warriors arrive to save the heroes from the bad guys. I believe the difference in these approaches is from the cultural climate when the films were made, not with the tribes themselves. And that's where we get to a Comanche warrior fighting a Japanese samurai with traditional weapons, similar to how Crow warriors fought a Chinese imperial soldier in Shanghai Noon. After all conflicts are resolved, the precious item is returned to its rightful owner, or instead she gets to decide where she wants to go. And the heroes ride off to the horizon. Both movies are a lot of fun. But before you find a copy of Red Sun to show the family, be warned, it's not a kid's movie. Ursula Andress shows enough skin for an R rating. Plus there are plenty of deaths by bullets, arrows, spears, and of course a samurai sword. But both movies are still definitely worth a watch. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for new videos every week or two, and see the description below for a list of films, books, and websites referenced in this video.